you got to swim me underwater, okay? Lee Whitaker is like most high school students, involved with activities, learning something new every day. He likes helping people and someday hopes to be a police officer. His classmate Ashley Taylor enjoys working on the school yearbook, capturing and reporting on the activities and the memories students are making. It's taken on new meaning in the wake of a life-threatening accident. I could have lost my life that night just knowing that like I had so many plans after high school and stuff like all of that was just running through my mind and stuff. She and Whitaker were riding in a car with two other friends when it happened. Whitaker in the front seat with the driver. She was in the back. Coming up over the hill we started fishtailing real bad and uh, went towards the right side of the road and hit a fence and then came out of the road and fished a little more and hit the pole and snapped it in half. At first I was like, did that honestly really just happen? Because I closed my eyes after we hit um, the trees. I just closed my eyes and I, w I opened them right before we hit the pole. So all I remember is just seeing the pole coming at us and then just flung over. We just laid there for a second. They quickly realized they had learned about this kind of situation just a few days earlier. They had seen a live power line demonstration at their school. And among the issues safety expert Kyle Finley talked about was surviving car accidents involving power lines. Pam's sitting there in her car, the wire's across the road, out across the grass, that wire's not arcing, not sparking, not smoking. Pam says, well the wire's on the ground, it's got to be dead. She opens up her car door and steps out of her car. Boom! 7,200 volts of electricity through her body at the speed of light. Why? She created a path to ground. Was Pam okay inside her car? Yep. She's conscious, alert, alive. You are not a path to ground in that car. I made sure everybody else was okay and made sure I was okay. And told him not to get out. That was the main thing that he repeated uh, several times is not to get out of the vehicle if you're in an accident involved with power lines. I could see out the window that the, I could see the pole over the vehicle and then I saw some of the wires but I didn't realize that it was like the biggest effect was the wires that were all over the vehicle. So um, well then we realized that it definitely, this was completely serious and David's little sister and his mom um, came like running up to the vehicle and we just started yelling at them to get away and everything. They were responsible enough to tell the people that were there at the scene to stay away from the vehicle also. See, so it, just, it didn't just change four kids' lives. It's, it has a ripple effect and it's changing the lives of other people. Randy Price is the CEO of White County REMC, the electric utility that sponsored Finley's Liveline demo at the school. He and others at the cooperative were thrilled when they got the news of the accident's happy outcome. I got a call from Kyle Finley. Um, Kyle uh, begins to tell me about the fact that some parents and some children had called him to thank him for the difference he's made in their life. And he said it was extremely emotional. He, he said that the parents, the children, and even he was um, crying um, because they realize how close they come to losing their kids. These kinds of accidents are more common than people realize. Power poles are struck by cars tens of thousands of times each year. Each accident has the potential to bring live power lines to the ground. And every year, people who survive the accident itself are electrocuted when they get out of the vehicle. Well, aren't we taught when we're, when we're young we should flee as quick as we can from danger, run? Well, it's different in, in the electrical world. Sometimes you need to just stay very stationary and still assess your surroundings before you do a single thing. Finley explains why in a demo that can be seen on safeelectricity.org. When you see a bird land on the wire, that bird lands on a 7,200 volt power line that copper or aluminum wire is bare. There is no rubber coating over that wire protecting that bird. That bird's got his little feet wrapped around 7,200 volts. Does the bird feel it? Uh-uh, uh-uh, because the bird's at one wire, one voltage, and not a path to ground. Pam, guess what you are in the car? Bird on the wire effect. Your body is energized in that car. You just don't know it, okay? If you open up the door and step out, or you crawl out the broken window, you become the path to ground, and that's when you get electrocuted. And adults and kids, if this ever happens and the vehicle's on fire, that is the only time to exit that vehicle. If it is on fire, you jump free and clear, land with your feet together, it's called a bunny hop. As long as your feet are together, you are one point of contact. Current cannot flow unless there's a second point of contact. How far do you hop? Guess what? We don't know. 
where is the electricity going? Did that electricity get into the steel culvert, the guardrail, the chain link fence, the woven wire fence, the rebar running through the concrete road? We really don't know where it's going. We only catch the tires on fire 2% of the time. Where's the safest place to be? In the car. In the Indiana accident, the teens stayed in the car for 45 long minutes until they got the all clear from the utility line crew. I thought to myself, what if that guy didn't come to our school, he went to a different school first and then came to our school. You know, how long would that have been and would I still be alive? Because I would have gotten out of the vehicle if he hadn't said to stay in. I feel like I'm the luckiest person living. Just it happened so quick after we learned all about it and that we actually got to use that information to save each other's lives and oh yeah, really lucky. They want people to learn from their experience and to share that life-saving information with others, as Lee did after watching that important program. I went home and shared it, and I shared it to my friends, and they kind of just laughed at me. But, you know, it showed them when I was in a wreck with power lines down that I survived with the information that I heard. I think that it affected people the most, that it happened to kids, like their friends and stuff, that it just happened, and then we just learned about it and stuff. So I think that they all maybe, maybe realized and remembered that it really does matter, and I hope that other people realize that too.